All right. So today we'll be covering the matchups for the solo lane, what gods are good against what other gods. Mainly, we're going to be sticking to warriors and a few guardians. Nothing really off meta. Maybe Bakasara, just because he's kind of the only assassin that's really um, viable in the solo lane. But matchups are incredibly important in every role, but especially in solo because it's a one on one constantly. You don't have your support with you. You don't have your jungler with you. It's you. It's just you. You're in the you're in solo lane, and if you if you're behind, if you're in a bad matchup, it's really bad for your team. So, Ama. Ama loses lane a lot. It's really hard for her to win a lane in the early game unless she gets a kill uh, with her jungler. Um, gods that you want to pair Ama with for the jungle. Um, Rata when he's available. A Wheelix. Uh, Fenrir is really good with Amaterasu. Um, Neja. Basically anyone with a lot of early game pressure and damage. Because if you get her ahead at level 1, get her first blood, or I give her the assist for first blood, she snowballs incredibly hard and she'll do very well in the laning phase and she won't have any problems really. Um, one of the key things about Ama is that if you are losing lane, which most likely you will just because almost all of these gods will outclear you, you'll basically just try to lose lane with dignity, meaning don't leave the lane 0 and 6, leave the lane at most maybe one or two deaths you know you want to try to minimize the amount that you're losing for the amount that the enemy solo laner is gaining uh she does very well against guan yu she's okay against bologna i mean she can silence the bludgeon but the thing is is like that's all she can really do against bell bell has a lot of early game power and pressure just because she's bologna She's a lane bully, and lane bullies are very good against Ama because she's a teamfight-oriented goddess who does not do well in the laning phase. Um, Ama can do very well against Guan Yu. She can stop Guan Yu's only source of clear, his Taolu Assault, uh, using her dash. So she does very well, get very well against Guan Yu. And being that they're both incredibly teamfight-oriented gods, playing Amaterasu into a Guan Yu is incredibly beneficial, and you'll win lane, no doubt. Um, Ama does very well against... I think that's about it. She does okay against Tyr. She can silence his 1, which is really good, especially in the early game. So you can kind of go even with Tyr. Um, she's very bad against lane bullies. So your Bologna, um, kind of Herc and Chalk, but you won't really see them picked, so you don't have to worry about them. Osiris, Robin, and Vimana she doesn't really do too well against. So, Bologna. Bologna wins almost every matchup. Or at least goes even in almost every matchup. She does very well against uh, pretty much everyone here. Except for, like, Osiris and Robin, who will pretty much just go even with her. Um, Hercules will also go even with her. But the biggest thing about Herc is that he has to use two abilities to clear the wave. Whereas Bologna just uses one and then auto attacks because she has the cleave on her hammer. So she can really pressure that, she can really, she can out-sustain him, especially because she's going to be having Death's Toll, and he has to use two abilities to clear the wave. So Bologna really wins that matchup, in general. She does very well against Guan Yu. If you're playing against Guan Yu, Ama and Bologna are, like, your number one picks, is what you want to be picking into an enemy Guan Yu, because Ama will silence his clear, and Bologna will just absolutely shit on him when he comes to clear the wave. She can't stop his clear, but when he goes up to clear the wave, Bologna can use her bludgeon, get the scaling from hitting him, slam it back down onto him, and that's a lot of his health pool gone. She's really good in lane against Guan Yu. I really suggest playing Bologna against a Guan Yu. Um, Osiris, she goes even against, really. kind of depends. I mean, you'll both be bullying each other through that lane. Too many kills shouldn't happen, but if you give one kill to the enemy Osiris... He'll start to destroy you. If you get a kill on him, you'll start to destroy him. So it's really just, you want to play it safe, but you also want to be that lane bully asshole that Bologna is. Robin, Bologna is pretty bad against, but that's just because everyone is really bad against Robin. Robin is incredibly strong in lane. And he's just, like, he wins almost every matchup. So Robin is just one of those gods where... 
You want to escape the landing phase with minimal deaths. That's that's pretty much it. Um, she does very well against Sun Wukong, also. Because she has more early game pressure than him. For level 1 at least. Because he has to use two abilities to clear. I think at level 1 and 2. So, she does pretty well against him in the early game. As well as scaling very well into the late game. She'll still pretty much outperform Sun Wukong. Uh, Sun Wukong can out-sustain her, though, through his ultimate, and he can really outplay a Bologna, as well as interrupting your bludgeon using his ox or his tiger. So that's something to watch out for, but you'll still win lane. Tier. This matchup's pretty even uh, against Bologna. She's, I don't know, she's she's okay against Tier. Tier's okay against her. There's not really anything to really sway, I guess. Vamana is pretty good against Bologna because he can outclear her. Because he can just walk up to the side of the wave, use his Umbrella Rang, hit her and the minions, or he can or his Armored Umbrella. Or if he's behind, he can throw out the Umbrella Rang, get, get the double tap on the minions, possibly getting her because she'll be standing in the wave auto attacking. So that's something to think about. Chalk. Um, Chalk's really good in lane. Like, he's really good in lane, but that's about it. Chalk's not really good anywhere else. The thing about Chalk is that if you can not die, and if you can't give Chalk any kills, you pretty much have won the game or given yourself a very large lead in that game. Just because Chalk doesn't do too much late game outside of his ultimate. He's got his ult and then the 40% slow. So he's pretty much got two abilities. He's not that good. I, I would, I don't know. If you're new, which a lot of the people that are watching this are, Chalk, well, fuck off Siri. Chalk is really easy to play. And you'll, you'll really want to play him just because he has that lane bully, I win lane, easy to play kind of feel. But you'll, you'll regret it later because if he's like the only solo laner that you can play, you're kind of screwed. Just because of his, I guess, risk, but not really risk. Because it's risky because you need to get ahead. It's not risky because it's easy to fall behind. It's risky because you need to get ahead. And a good solo laner won't let that happen. So just... Be wary of that. The only person that really does well against him is Robin, just because fuck Robin. Um, other than that, every other matchup is either in his favor or even. Guan Yu. Guan is really strong. Guan is really strong, really, really, really strong. Not in lane, but outside of lane and team fights, Guan is probably the, one of the strongest solo laners. Once he gets to team fighting. Like, if you look... Let's see, his passive. Guan Yu gains force of will as he deals or takes damage each time he damages or receives damage from an enemy god. Charges up his conviction ability, increasing its healing by up to two times after 20 hits. In a team fight, that takes like two seconds to get this passive stacked fully, especially if they have an enemy with a dot. So you're healing for... Fuck, what is 170 times 2? Whatever. You're healing for 170 times 2. Which is like, what? It's like 340, I think. Probably, I don't know, I'm really tired. It's like 3 in the morning right now. But, healing friendly gods reduces all cooldowns by 2 seconds. So the cooldowns at 10 seconds. You get 40% CDR. Cooldown is 6 seconds. So you're healing for, what was it, like 240? Every six seconds. That's really strong. Also, this, this ability, oh my god. He steals protections. He steals 30 protections at max rank. So that's giving you a 60 protection lead against someone. That's almost a full breastplate of valor. Because you're taking away 30 from them and giving it to yourself. Incredibly strong ability. That's one of the reasons why he has such a strong team fight presence as well as his ultimate. Which is the highest base damaging ultimate in the game due to this, the damage escalation. 
Anyways, who does Guan Yu do badly against? Fucking everyone. Guan Yu will just get shit on in lane. Ama beats him. Bologna beats him. Chalk beats him. Herc, uh, even-ish. Odin beats him. Osiris beats him. Robin beats him. Sun Wukong beats him. Guan Yu is good against tier. Because when Guan Yu is channeling his Taolu Assault, he can't be knocked back or knocked up. So tier's fearless won't affect him. So if you're playing against a tier and you want to play Guan Yu, green lights, go for it, dude. Vamana, don't do it. You'll regret it. It is not good to play Guan Yu against Vamana because he will just outclear you. Guan Yu is incredibly situational. And the thing is, is that if you're confident that you can lose lane but not die at all, then Guan Yu is probably the strongest... Mm, strongest or second strongest pick that you can have out of the solo lane. Odin. In my opinion, Odin's more of a jungler than a solo laner. He is listed as a warrior. However, he has the lowest base health pool out of all of the warriors. Where do you see that? Stats. His base health pool is 540. Let's compare that to Bologna, who's got 565. Chalk 565. 554. 566. I think Sun Wukong might have it lower. 552. 540. No. Odin's got the lowest base health pool at 540. He also doesn't have that great of health scaling. Like, every other solo laner has higher health scaling and a higher base health pool. So Odin's very squishy when he doesn't have this up. But, Odin is still a strong solo lane pick for a few reasons. One, he can instantly clear the wave at level 2. Bird Bomb, full clear is the wave at level 2. Once you get like 2 or 3 points into the shield, because you'll be maxing the shield first and then the jump, you don't even have to use the jump. You can just shield, walk into the middle of the lane, and just taunt, laugh, spam, whatever the fuck you want to do. You'll feel like full clear of the wave. So, Odin does well against Ama, kind of. I don't know. That's like even. Like, if he can hit her with bird bombs, then he wins. He does not do well against Bologna, because Bologna can just bully him. He's okay against Chalk. Um, Bologna can also escape his cage, so it's not that great. Um, he's good against Guan Yu, just because of his early pressure and the cage. And Guan Yu has no way of escaping. He's good against Herc for the most part. He's not really good against Osiris, because Osiris has the 20% slow on his 1, and if he hits the 2 on the 1, brings it to a 40% slow for 3 seconds. So, think about that. Not really great. So, Odin also does not do well against Robin. Do not pick Odin into Robin. You will get absolutely shit on. He's really good against Sun Wukong, just because if you're in the cage... So if Sun Wukong uses his ultimate in the cage, and he's in the air, he's still counted as in the cage, I think, and he won't heal. So that's really good for Odin. Odin can do well against Tyr sometimes, mainly because uh, of the ultimate. Tyr can't heal. And then Odin does very well against Vamana. However, one thing to watch out for is if Vamana is using his charge or whatever where he's spinning his umbrella. If Odin, this is a really stupid mechanic, but it, it, it's, it exists, trust me. So if Odin uses his shield and jumps up and Vamana's doing his little dash and he hits Odin when Odin lands, it cancels all of the damage from the shield and the jump. Bird Bomb will not do damage if Vamana dashes through him when it lands. It will not do damage. But, in Odin's ring, Vamana has no healing. And that's incredibly to watch out for, incredibly dangerous to watch out for, if you're the Vamana. So, a few things to think about for Odin. He's okay. Very situational. Osiris. Osiris wins lane against a lot of gods. He has really good clear because of his AoE basics, and he has really good sustain because of his AoE basics combined with Death's Toll. He does well against Ama because he has the damage reduction further hurting her clear. He does well against Bologna as well because of his slows and his boxing potential. 
He's alright against Chalk. He can cancel Chalk's healing, which is really nice. But... And eh, Chalk will still probably win the lane. Or at least go even. Osiris is pretty good against Squad. <laughs> if Osiris uses his tethers when Guan Yu walks up to the wave, Osiris can stun Guan Yu while he's in the middle of clearing. Which will interrupt his clear. Osiris will win the lane. And that's it. Osiris can also slow him with the 40% slow at level one, at level 2. Not much you can do against that if you're the Guan Yu. So, Osiris is pretty good against Guan Yu. Herc, this lane is just stupid. I mean, there's not really much to it. It's just, you'll go even or you'll feed. Or he'll feed. It's really, like, it's just a skill matchup for Hercules for the most part. Unless he's, uh... Unless you cancel his healing with his with your ultimate. Odin, Osiris does pretty well against. He's not... I don't know. Osiris does pretty well against Odin. Just because he can compete with his clear. Not right away, but a couple levels in, he can start to compete with Odin's clear. And Osiris has much, has much more team fight presence in the late game than Odin will. So I would recommend picking Osiris into Odin. For the most part, just because of the team fight presence, and because you'll probably be able to survive the laning phase. Uh, Robin, Osiris will get shit on by Robin, in my opinion. Robin can outbox him as well as out slow, root, heal, everything. Don't pick Osiris into Robin. You can, but I wouldn't. If you're picking anything into Robin, it should probably be a Vamana, just because it's safe. Sun Wukong, Osiris can do pretty well against. <sighs> oh, Osiris is pretty well against Sun Kong. Um, hold on. Osiris is pretty well against Sun Kong just because he can compete with his clear early on. Which is really important for solo lane. Like, if you don't know right now, the meta right now is like early, like, clear the wave. That's about it. Osiris is pretty well against Tyr as well. Just because he can clear, out clear him early. And he has a lot of team fight presence, but if if there's if the tier is good, he can kill you, and he'll have more of a team fight presence. Osiris is pretty good against Vamana. Vamana will outclear him though by a lot, but I mean Osiris can cancel his healing, which is huge. Robin, Robin doesn't lose any matchup, really. Like, I, I, no no reason for me to go more in depth about that. Robin just won't lose lane. Sun Wukong is pretty good against most solo laners. He's good against Ama. He's good against Bologna, kind of. Yeah, he's yeah. I'd say he's good against Bologna. He's bad against Chalk, but who isn't? He's good against Guan Yu. He's good against Herc. Bad against Odin. Um. Okay against Osiris, I guess. Not great. He's okay. Bad against Robin. And finally, Tyr and Vamana. So, Tyr will win most matchups, but he can do pretty badly against Ama and Robin. Other than that, that's about it. Tyr's just kind of farm till late game. Uh, Vamana does very well against every solo laner except for, like, Robin. Just honestly. So, that's pretty much it for the solo lane matchups that you'll want to be playing um including kind of like team fight presence hopefully this helps you if you're newer and if you're newer stick to gods like Bologna, guan maybe no i'd say Bologna, osiris robin sun wukong and vamana uh hopefully this helped you uh drop a like leave a comment i read every comment i'll reply to every comment so thank you guys for watching and have a great day bye